this is intriguing. A hundred dollars for a bedtime tucket. I will give that guy a hundred dollars to not enter my house. <laughs> to stay the hell away from my house around bedtime. Hey guys, you know my guests from their work together on The Good Place. They either really like each other or once killed a guy together and have a blood pact to never speak of it because they have a new movie called Queen Pins. It's Kristen Bell and Kirby Howell Baptiste. Hi guys. Hello. Congratulations on your new film. It is very, very funny. Talk to me a little bit about your own propensity towards scams. Would you consider yourself gullible? Do you indulge in scam artists on the phone? Kirby, what do you got? No, I will not. I, I don't think I'm gullible. <laughs> I actually think I'm too cynical about certain things to be gullible. Like I love a deal, but if something t feels too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Since this film is in part about coupons and getting deals, I have a game for you guys that we're calling Steal or Squeal. Now we've combed the internet for some unusual items. You tell me if you think this is a steal or if you squeal, if this is just bad news, a bad idea. You ready? For only $3, this guy is gonna draw a cat just for you. Is that a steal or are you squealing? Steal. I have to know, I just have to see it. Is he good or is it just like, you gotta get what you're gonna get? <laughs> By the way, it includes shipping and handling. So already you're good. Maybe it's like two circles on top of each other. <laughs> Two triangles and some whiskers, but he's like, I didn't tell you what kind of cat, I just said like, Right. Yeah. In which case, out of respect for this man? <laughs> yeah, it's a steal, it's still worth it. Yeah. How about this? This is an exclusive ocean voyage with a Leonardo DiCaprio impersonator. It looks, there's a vague resemblance there. It's $12,500. You get a Titanic DVD signed by the impersonator. $12,000 for any, you better get it yourself with four wheels. It's 13 days, guys. It's 13 days with this guy. Oh, Follow-ups, so what's the food like? Where am I sleeping? Who can I bring? Is it just me and fake Leo? Honestly, that would be a squeal if it was free for me. $100 for a bedtime tucket. I will give that guy $100 to not enter my house. <laughs> stay the hell away from my house around bedtime. <laughs> Kristen, you can buy a piece of planet Mars. For only $13, you get an acre of land from Mars. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Steal or squeal? Steal. Can you also, what is that website? Because that is land that is ripe and I would like to buy some properties. <laughs> you can't go wrong with real estate. And we are going to be in on the ground, ground level. level. Angel <laughs> investors in <laughs> Mars. Groupon is offering to name your child for a mere thousand dollars. You don't have to worry about naming your kid, Kristen. What do you think? If you can't name your own kid, you shouldn't be having a kid. Understood, that's a squeal. Uh, a live elf on a shelf. Again, a hundred dollars an hour. He has the costume. He looks like, a, like an average man, an average size man. So he's gonna break my shelf when he sits on it? <laughs> this guy will no. break your he shelf and he will break your shelf. What a good story for friends and family. Also, the whole thing with Elf on a Shelf is that you move them around, right? You put them in different places. So I wake up every day and this man is in a different place in my house on furniture that he's too big to be on. Squeal. You want a life-size Amish man in your home? Stop. I don't want anyone in my home. I don't want <laughs> puppets. Definite pass. Okay, that's all I got. So that we didn't really do well in that. Sorry. Um, one of the unique aspects of your character in this, Kristen, is she's an Olympian in a sport not many people think of as an Olympic sport. She's a race walker. Yeah, people don't know really about this sport, to be honest. Let me name an Olympic uh, sport, and you tell me if this is an actual Olympic sport or one I just made up. Has tug of war ever been an Olympic sport? No. Yes. It has. From 1900 to 1920, it was an Olympic sport. Has a staring contest ever been an actual Olympic sport, and should it be? Hasn't been, and it definitely should be. Final answer. Correct, it has not been, and you're saying yes, it should be. I agree, that is a feat of strength in its own way. I think so, yeah. Was live pigeon shooting ever an actual Olympic sport? Ooh, hope not. That Probably, but like I that? don't like that. Yeah, I'm not so fucked up that I would make that up. Apparently in the 1900 games, 300 pigeons were killed. Jesus, guys. God, I hope they ate them or something. Like, oh, what a <laughs> Speaking of eating, hot dog eating contest, has that ever been an Olympic sport? I don't think it has been, and I would definitely watch it. No. It wouldn't be the healthiest Olympic sport we've got. No, and nor would it be the one that you necessarily want your country to be the champion of. <laughs> yeah, no. let's be clear. America would definitely be the champion, sadly, of any competitive eating competition. Yay, America. America. Has poodle clipping, the clipping of a poodle, ever been an Olympic sport? I have something of a poodle. I don't know, they're rescues, but yeah. every once in a while I lay him on the floor and I just go like this with the kitchen shears and then get his hair a little shorter. Do you think what you do is worthy of being honored at the Olympics? Of course. I thought I'd make that clear. <laughs> it was kind of an Olympic sport. It was a test sport. They tested it out at the games once and they didn't stick with it. 
I've got some would you rather questions for you guys, if you'll indulge me. Would you rather be stuck with the worst haircut you've ever had or have perpetual bad BO? I'll take the haircut. Me too. Yeah, a BO is, is like offensive to other people. A haircut I have to just deal with in my own mind. I don't like it, but BO is like hard for other people to be in the same space and I don't like that. Yeah. Would you rather have your good old Good Place co-star Ted Danson or your Queen Pins co-star Vince Vaughn hate you? Hate? Yes. Ted Danson doesn't hate anything or anybody. Not that Vince hates a bunch of things, but... But it would be really odd if Ted hated you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm much closer with Ted, so okay. I, th I can't do anything to hurt Ted. I'm gonna go Vince right. as well. Would you guys rather poop lava or pee fire? Does it hurt on either end, like after you eat a spicy pizza the next morning? Yeah, yeah, of course it hurts, yeah. Oh, then I gotta go poop because you poop less often than you pee. 100%. Thank you for giving that serious question the seriousness it deserves. I appreciate that. Would you rather have one arm or one leg be six feet long? This is impossible. No, it's not arm. I'm taking a leg. I would love to be tall. You would have one long arm. One long, long leg. Yeah, you, you know how you, you put a giant boot on. <laughs> you're gonna put. You're gonna have one arm. What do you do with your arm? What do you do with your arm when you're in an interview? What are you gonna do? You have a six foot arm. I would roll it up. Oh my god. <laughs> but no. if the foot, you'd get up. Like let's say your character has to walk to the kitchen, and you'd be like, I'm always gonna be in one platform. Always. A six foot. Well, I'm five six, and you'll be eleven six. Oh, and it's not increased to six foot; it's added more another six feet. Yeah, yeah, another six feet. Oh, yeah. never, never work in this town again. <laughs> <laughs> it's an arm. No. You're right. It's an arm. It's an arm. You don't have to yell for anyone anymore. If you're far away from someone, you just let your hand you go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kirby, great to meet you. Kristen, always a pleasure. Congratulations on the movie, guys, and thanks for indulging my insanity as always. Thank so, you. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>